What's up, all Zelda fans? I'm Lorulian, and today we're going to enjoy some pretty cool Easter eggs and controversial facts from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Let's jump right in. Despite the Nintendo 64's graphical limitations, Ocarina of Time is arguably one of the greatest video games ever created, scoring a perfect rating of 10 out of 10 on IGN, GameSpot, and probably most of our hearts. To start off, let's go through the more familiar easter eggs. Paintings of the Super Mario cast can be seen in Castle Courtyard, the place where you meet Zelda for the first time. If you look through the right window from various angles, you could see paintings of Yoshi, Peach, Mario, Bowser, and Luigi. Bowser also makes his cameo as a piece of jewelry around the necks of the characters Talon and Milan. They can both be found in Lon Lon Ranch. This was unchanged in Ocarina of Time 3D. Let's jump back to the Castle Courtyard paintings. If you look through the right window, you could see that the paintings were changed into warp pipes from the Super Mario series. Interesting gimmick! Ocarina of Time 3D has portraits of Skyward Swordling scattered around Hyrule. They can be found at the Bomchu Shop in Hyrule Market, Ingo's Bedroom in Lon Lon Ranch, and Thieves' Hideout in Gerudo Fortress. During beta testing for Ocarina of Time, developers added an R-Wing from the Star Fox series to test the enemy's artificial intelligence and Link Z-targeting. The R-Wing could even burst into flames after Link takes it down with his projectiles. Now let's get into the more interesting and controversial facts. After collecting the three spiritual stones and getting the Ocarina of Time, you're supposed to pull the Master Sword from the Temple of Time. But before you do that, search the back alley of Hyrule Market. You will find a dying soldier. The soldier explains how he was trying to defend Zelda from Ganondorf, but fails and gets injured in the process. His final words to Link are, Hurry to the Temple of Time. After talking to him again, it reads, He's not moving anymore. This isn't the only dark material in the game. In earlier versions of Ocarina of Time, the Shadow Temple in the bottom of the well had some floors and walls stained with blood. This was removed in later versions of the game. Ganondorf also had his fair share of gore. During the first and last fight with Ganondorf, his blood was originally red in earlier versions of the game, but due to violent content, it was later changed to green. When facing the mini-boss of the Water Temple, Dark Link, he doesn't only mimic all of your moves, he also mimics the amount of hearts you have. So if you have 11 hearts, he has 11 hearts as well. This makes it a bit of a challenge for players, and arguably puts Dark Link's difficulty as a mini-boss above most of the bosses. In earlier versions of the game, the Fire Temple's music featured an Islamic prayer. Here's the song. If translated, the prayer states, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. Controversy sparked, and this was changed in later versions of the game. Here is the song's replacement. Pretty interesting, huh? The original Gerudo symbol, a crescent moon and a star, was changed due to its similarity to the flag of Turkey. 
It could be seen on certain puzzle blocks in the Spirit Temple and on the Mirror Shield. In the Spirit Temple, there is a room with a giant statue of a woman. If you use your hookshot and shoot the statue's nipples, you heard it right, nipples, you'll grasp onto it and spring forward. I don't understand how this wasn't removed in the 3DS version. Did you know that the hero Shade from Twilight Princess is said to be Link from Ocarina of Time? In the Hyrule Historia, it reads, The ghost of the hero who teaches Link his secrets. Some theorize that the fact that he holds his sword in his left hand indicates he is actually Link from Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time's title theme shares the same introduction as the flute sound in Super Mario Bros. 3. Here is the title theme. And here is the flute sound. It was also used in the very first Zelda game, The Legend of Zelda for NES, to teleport from dungeon to dungeon. And this concludes Ocarina of Time Easter Eggs and Controversial Facts. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Lorulian, wishing everyone to have a great day.